Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is October 17th, 2024, and Barcelona have officially revealed their newest kit. Also, Sevilla have sent a letter to Barcelona saying that they will not be following the customary protocols ahead of the match this weekend. And finally, Ansu Fati has sent a clear message to Hansi Flick during training. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure to kit back goal kits or fanatics and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure to bet us all links are down below in the description now I begin this video with the news that Barcelona have officially announced their kit that they will be wearing in that match against Real Madrid. Now, as you know, as part of the sponsorship with Spotify, Barcelona have done collaborations with artists, including Drake, The Rolling Stones, Rosalia, and Carol G, where the Spotify logo was replaced by the logo of these artists. And that kit was worn during El Clasico matches. And while this Clasico will be no different, and Barcelona will be collaborating this time around with no other than Coldplay, and today, Barcelona officially unveiled the kit where it will replace the Spotify logo with different phases of the moon. And this was inspired by Coldplay's 10th album called Moon and Music, which was dropped back in October, for, uh, October 4th. And of course, Barcelona will be wearing this kit during a Clásico match against Real Madrid next weekend. But not only the men will be wearing this kit, it will also be the Barcelona Femini who will also wear this kit and they will do it against a bar on November 2nd. Now, if you want to buy this kit, it will be available starting tomorrow, Friday, October the 18th. But I got to warn you, the prices are pretty insane. Now, if you do want a more affordable option, you could head back to Kitback. I'm sorry, not Kitback, Goal Kits. And that link is down below in the description. Now, speaking of matches, we do have to talk about the upcoming match on Sunday against Sevilla because Sevilla have sent a letter to Barcelona informing them they will not be following the customary protocols that take place before each match. Now, as you know, before each match, usually the executives of both clubs that are facing each other during a the match, they usually have a luncheon or maybe a dinner together. Also, the executives from the visiting team, they usually attend the match in the presidential box. And Sevilla have informed Barcelona that they will not be following these protocols for the second season in a row, where Sevilla executives are not going to attend lunch with Barcelona executives. And even though Sevilla executives will be at the match at Montjuic, they're not going to be in the presidential box. And they're saying that they are doing this in protest because of the Negreta case for the second season in a row, even though... Time and time again, the investigation has yielded nothing. And we all know there's nothing to this, but Sevilla insisting on being the clowns that they are. So I really, really hope that Barcelona beat them 5-0 to zero to teach these clowns a lesson in humility. And also, if the executives are going to be attending the stadium and not the presidential box, I really, really, really hope Barcelona charges them for the tickets because, well, if they want to be funny, I think Barcelona should be funny back. My God. Anyway, speaking of the Sevilla match, ladies and gentlemen, it's been revealed that Barcelona's newest signing, Wojciech Szczesny, it has been declared 100% fit, and he could possibly start during the match. Now, this was a bit of surprising news because, of course, we cannot forget Szczesny was in retirement, and he just got out of retirement. He's just arrived in the club like two or three weeks ago. And yet, despite that, he has already been declared 100% fit. He could once again start playing professional football at the highest level, which is absolute insanity. But nonetheless, that's the news, which begs the question, will Flick start Chesney or will he start Iñaki Peña? That's definitely going to be 
very interesting to see. Now, Chazzy is not the only player who will be ready for the Sevilla match today. Dani Olmo made part of his training with the group. Of course, due to his injury, he had been training by himself individually. Today, he realized part of the training with the group, which indicates that he's towards the final phases of his recovery. And it's reported that tomorrow, Friday, October the 18th, Dani Olmo will have another training session with the group. And based on how his feeling will determine whether he'll play some minutes against Sevilla or not, but the majority of reports are indicating that Dani Olmo could get some minutes against Sevilla. But if he's not a feeling 100%, there's no rush. Barcelona are not trying to rush Dani Olmo back. They don't mind if he ends up missing a Sevilla match as long as he is fit for the two more difficult matches that are, up, uh, that are uh, coming up, which is, of course, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. And I have to say, I totally agree. Look, if Dani Olmo doesn't play any minutes with Sevilla, I don't care. If he's ready for Bayern and Real Madrid, I'm all for it. Let's not risk those two matches and, uh, and have play, um, Dani Olmo play against Sevilla. I'd rather him miss the Sevilla match and play against Bayern and Real Madrid. Now, more news because Ansu Fati has reportedly sent a message to Hansi Flick of his readiness to play. Now, as you know, both uh, Ferran Torres is injured, so he will not be able to play against Sevilla. La Minia Mal. Also injured, most likely he's okay, but, but they're saying that Flick could rest him against Sevilla. And then there's Robert Lewandowski, who we did have that scare in, during the international break where it looked like he could have gotten injured. And even though the medical reports have stated that Lewandowski is not injured, there is a chance that Flick could be resting him. And that, of course, gives rise to Ansu Fati and the opportunity for him to prove himself because as we know Flick has been very impressed with or at least that's what he said that he was very impressed with Ansu during a summer trans uh, summer break of course Ansu has not gotten much minute because he got injured right before the preseason so this could be his chance to prove to Flick that he was right about him because with Ferran and Lemin's injury and with Lewandowski's possible uh, resting, Ansu Fati could see some minutes against Sevilla, and it's reported that Ansu Fati sent a message during training where he scored nine goals during a training match. Again, sending a message that, hey Flick, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm ready to prove you right. So we'll see whether Ansu Fati does just that against Sevilla. And like I said before, I think this is his final chance. If Ansu Fati fails to impress during the season, there's no doubt that this will be his last season at Barcelona. Now Ansu Fati is not going to be the only one who most likely will get minutes because again with Ferran and Lamin's injury and with Lewandowski maybe being rested, another player will also have his chance and that's of course Pau Victor who Barcelona signed on a permanent transfer this summer who impressed a lot during the preseason but so far he hasn't been getting much playing time. He got his first start against Osasuna in that loss 4-2 where he scored his first official goal in La Liga. And well, it seems that Pau Victor could be also getting some minutes against Sevilla. A chance to prove himself. And of course, a chance to prove how useful he is. Because after all, he's a very versatile player. Not only can he play as a center forward, but he can play on the wings as well. So it's going to be very curious to see what the lineup will look like against Sevilla. And of course, as always, I want to hear you guys' opinion. Let me know down below. Do you think Ansel will get minutes? Do you think Pau Victor will get minutes? If so, do you think it's going to be in a starting position as a sub? Let me know. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. And as always, Vizca Barça.